Hello, my friends. How are you today? Um, I'm doing a bit of a vlog. So I just got up here to the makeup room. It is uh, Thursday morning. It's Belle's birthday. It is obviously a school day, but uh, we're going to try to celebrate a little bit this morning with her. And yeah, I'm just getting out my Bioderma. Um, this is what I've been using lately to like get my skin all nice and fresh and clean for makeup. And it's been working so well. My skin has been really, really good lately. So I'm happy to use this. My skincare lately has been pretty much the same as when I last talked about it. I'm still um, burning through my serums from The Ordinary. I would say I have used two-thirds of these up. Well, the niacinamide a little bit faster, but I'm maybe about halfway on the hyaluronic and the ascorbic acid. Um, that's vitamin C. And then I have this caffeine solution that I just use a little bit of under the eyes. But basically, yeah, I replaced all my Glossier serums with these and they have been doing so good. I'm really, really impressed. And another cool thing is that our local Ulta now stocks the ordinary, like the whole brand. So if I need a replacement, I should be able to find it there. Niacinamide, vitamin C. Hi, kitten. How are you today, hon? Good? Hyaluronic. I wasn't calling you hyaluronic. Somebody asked me um, in the Q&A, a question I didn't get to was, what are the cat's personalities like? And one major thing is like, if someone comes over who's not familiar to them, like someone who doesn't live in this house or someone other than Nana and Papa, Rosie will hide and she will just go off by herself for pretty much the entire duration of that person's stay. Biscuits will be out and she will be available for pets and doing all that kind of thing. But then sometimes the more likely one to come up to one of us in the family just throughout a day and want to sit with you and snuggle beside you and all that type of thing, that's more often rosy. So it's kind of funny. Like she's, she's very into her people, you know, but they're playful in the evenings. They still like scamper around. They are just such happy creatures. I, I can't explain. I feel so much peace and ease and just calm in their presence. I'm just, I couldn't be happier that we got kittens. My favorite thing in terms of a daytime moisturizer under makeup is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. Although um, I was sent this in PR from Lawless, the Forget the Filler Skin Plumping Line Smoothing Perfecting Cream. And it's a little lighter, like quite a bit lighter in texture compared to the Bobbi Brown, but it is still nicely moisturizing. And I used this for a couple weeks straight and I did like it, but I kind of, I kind of miss this one. There's Mm, that nice little scent that I just have become oddly attached to. But it's nice to know I have another good moisturizer that has been good for my skin, I think, overall, too, that I could switch back to on and off if need be. And then I use this um, Magic Eye Rescue from Charlotte Tilbury that I've been working on for a long, long time. And I think I thought I had way more of it than I did. The packaging is super substantial, but like see how much, you know, unoccupied space is there at the bottom. It's just the package. And now I can really see like, oh, I'm hitting the bottom with that. But it's a really nice eye cream. It's, it's smooth and creamy. There's a little richness to it, but it's not too heavy. And also, if I feel like I have a super dry area, like maybe I just haven't been paying close enough attention with my skincare and I've gotten sort of dry up in this zone under my brows, I will pull in Vani Cream. That stuff doesn't play. And then for my sunscreen, I often use my Super Goop Watery Lotion, SPF 50, or I might switch to the e.l.f. Low Glow if I know I want it to be an especially glowy look, but those are pretty much my, my ones I use every day. So for Belle's birthday, we're going to celebrate this morning. I've got a few like kind of fun breakfast treats to have. There are some presents she's going to open today and then some on Saturday. And she told me what she wanted to do for that day. She wanted to do like a little shopping trip followed by coming home and doing manicures and pedicures and pup will be here for this too. Like this is exactly what she wanted. She's such a little homebody. Manicures and pedicures, movies, um, board games, reading and drawing, like she's got a whole agenda. And she actually, like in the weeks leading up to her birthday, she posted 
little, I mean, there's like one in this room, there's one on the door, there's probably a total of six or eight around the whole house, um, lists of birthday requests, some of the things she wanted for her birthday. It's, it's very Virgo of her, isn't it? But yeah, she's always got a plan, and she loves the thin crust cheese pizza from Domino's, so she's like, we want that, and the Parmesan bread bites, and she asked for the brownies, but I got a special surprise cake. It's just gonna be so much fun. We're gonna have a ball. It's gonna be pajama party vibes. I need to make sure Pup knows about the pajama thing. Look who's here. There's like no room for her. Yes, little angel. How are you today? Mm, I love you. That's biscuits. Rosie is currently scratching at the girl's door to get in. And so this is my finished makeup look. It really didn't take me very long at all. I think you saw my base products. Um, I set my under eye. I set all over my face with powder. I used my Dune Stick from Persona, which is still my favorite, by the way. Um, I know they came out with a lighter one called Mojave, and I just really prefer the impact of this one. I think it's a perfect, like, kind of in-between, not too warm, not too cool, but still kind of warm. Um, and then I used Jam today as my blush and also it's the main color on my lips and I topped it off with lychee nectar from Milani, the fruit fetish. Mm, just to give it a little shine, this smells so good. I also topped off the blush just for a little more staying power and kind of pinky impact. I topped off the blush stick with Lawless Make Me Blush in Watermelon. My highlighter is Hard Candy Rose Gold. Kitten likes to get in this chair after I'm done doing my makeup. She likes to sit in this chair. So she's kind of telling me, is time about up so I can get in your chair? <laughs> I'm loving, love, love, loving my Estee Lauder 3-in-1 brow thing. So I use that. Um, my mascara today is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Stretch and Strengthen, which I thought I was running lower on than I actually was. It's still got some life in it. it reminds me of that Reba song. Is there love out there? Um, this palette from Urban Decay. So this is yet another newish palette that I'm experimenting with. It's their um, Naked Metal Mania. I was kind of on the fence about getting this one, and then I saw some pictures of looks. Um, sometimes it's the example looks that draw me in, you know, um, on the websites you see those, and it's like, oh, I could see me rocking some of those looks. So I'm wearing it today. I've got kind of an earthy mix of shades. It's the dark brown. It's some of these. Um, this shade is kind of the shimmer on the inner part of my lid. I like it, and I've used it several times but I don't feel like I love it. I don't feel like I'm really craving it. And I also feel as though I haven't really taken advantage of the most metallic moments here. I mean, look at the gold and the silver. Like, I just haven't even been compelled to use those particular shades. Um, I've used, like, everything but those two shades in this palette, so I'm not sure. Um, I mean, if that's what you want... I gotta say, they executed. They're not flaky at all. They're not like sparkle glitter flecks. They're just full on metallic. So it's not a quality concern. It's just a, am I really gonna use this palette to its fullest kind of thing? Um, yesterday I used my NYX Warm Neutrals and I just, I love the heck out of this. I used it in a more full on sense. Like, you know, the other day in the video, I just used a couple of shades. Well, I used a bunch of shades yesterday. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm digging this. Off with the makeup headband. I've even decked out my little office desk area with a fluffy fall garland. This was one of the candidates to go around my window. Um, I really like it. It's super full. And I was looking for that like kind of rich, moody fall vibe, you know, but I, I really like the garland I have around the window now. Both things came from Hobby Lobby. We were reading our Quiet Times with God by Joyce. I said it before, I like this devotional, um, but I don't like it quite as much as Trusting God Day by Day. That's probably my favorite from her. I also like the starting your day right, ending your day right ones. A neat thing that this one does do though, like here's today's devotional and then it gives you today's thought, like a little wrap up. And then it has a dig deeper underneath each and every one. And it tells you like two or three different Bible sections that really talk about the topic that's here. So it kind of guides you through your Bible reading a little bit better. So anyways, welcome to my little corner. <laughs> I think the best line in this one was, we need to stop remembering what God has forgotten. <laughs> I 
of what I'm doing now, this is my little like gratitude journal, just general journal reflection. Sometimes I kind of write more about the devotional. Sometimes I write about something that's been bothering me. And a lot of people who journal probably feel this way. Somehow the act of writing it down is almost like, okay, I'm going to take that out of my head. I'm going to put it on the paper and I'm not going to um, continue to stew on that, you know? So do you guys who live still kind of in the vicinity of places you used to live, like an old apartment, old house, do you ever like just kind of be a creeper and go past it just to see it? Not because I want to spy on anybody who currently lives there. I just want to like see the place again, you know? So yesterday we were picking up some cookies for Nook to take to school today for her class from a bakery. And it was definitely in the neighborhood of the apartment from the apartment days. And I hadn't driven by there in quite some time. And it's just crazy, like making the same turns, turning down the street. There was not a single car parked in that whole apartment complex. I don't know if they were just all in school or work at that point in time, but just not one single car there. But I think it was still, I, I believe it's still housing people. I think the same drapes are hanging in there and I just, you know, looked toward that window where the first video was done on my channel and I thought, oh, those were the days. And it almost made me want to cry. Like, I don't know, just the thought of that's where it occurred to me to begin doing what I'm still doing to this day. Like if somebody would have said, you're going to have three kids and then you're still going to be making these videos. You're going to still be doing your news job, leave your news job and you're still doing videos. Move to two different places and you're still doing videos. Like it will be the constant in your life for years to come and I just I don't know I visited the birthplace of beauty broadcast <laughs> do you think they'd notice if I put like a little stone or something in the little grassy area like this is where the first video was <laughs> and nobody will care but me but yeah <laughs> look at her she's like yep this is where I've been wanting to be the whole time thank you very much Okay, I'm probably the only person who likes this, but I like how it's darker in the mornings. I just think it has a cozy feel. Um, so we're giving her some of her little gifts today. I'm so excited. And I'm going to put these things over by the coffee maker. I got her a new mug. She likes to drink like apple cider and hot cocoa. And I got her a little box of some Keurig cocoa there. There we go. Good morning. Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I love you so much. I'm so proud of my big nine year old. You might want to check out the coffee maker. Is there any other cup? Would you like to have some cocoa? So you got a necklace that says birthday girl. Oh, I love this. It's the game. Yeah. So, so I can play it at my birthday. And what does it give you? I didn't realize there's a little Yeah. There's a little squishmallow friend. <laughs> Whoa, take four. It says so, yeah. quick thinking, fast acting card game featuring your favorite squishmallows. Like that oh, well, let's open this up. Yeah. I can help you with that. And you can pull it. I believe Daddy. She said she was going to give me a present. Hmm. I'm so starving. Let's get one. Which one do you want? I want this one. I want two. Oh, Did you have any? I showed the camera which one I had. Oh, nice. I so one. I think we cut all the tapes. Oh, there's still some tape. Oh, oh there's more tape. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we've got a little frog. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, Are there any that you have big ones of? Oh, um, cute. Oh, I've got a big one of this one. Let's see. But, has, but it doesn't oh, really look like it. Little me. tiny baby. Oh, platypus! Platypus. Oh, my gosh. Platypus! Oh, mushroom! There's way more in here than it's I even thought. This is the number one cat because it was the first created. Oh, wow. And you have a mini of it now. And the last one is the cute little red fox. Oh, bless. <laughs> Candy Hall mini chewy sweethearts. They're like the little yeah. balls. Sour Patch Kids. I love these. Mm. 
they're like those gummy yeah. worms, but they're covered in sugar. And then the bottle caps. That's a mommy favorite that I think you might like. Mm -hmm. It's so hard. <gasps> A fashion mini brand. What did Diddy get? A fashion mini brand. I've got my hair done. I can show the clip. Cute little clip from your new set of clips. And today I'm bringing cookies to school. Hey guys, it's my birthday. And uh, here's my birthday at OTD. There was a kitty cat up there watching. Uh, so my clip. Where did you get the clip from? Amazon. This is from Target. Where did you get this from? Walmart. This was the Cardinals shirt for Snow Power. And these are from Walmart. Mm -hmm. And I'll be having shoes and they're Nikes. And it's homecoming week, so the different classes have certain colors to wear. So third grade is red and Biddy is... Green. Kill a fly. You killed a fly? Good job, Betty. <laughs> so I forgot to sign off from my morning vlog. The morning just kind of like ended. They went to school and um, yeah, I didn't formally like say goodbye, but there is something that I wanted to share with you. I thought I would share a couple of the things I've gotten from ColourPop PR in the last couple days. I don't always get ColourPop stuff, but just sporadically I do. And so I was kind of interested in these couple of collections and I wanted to get your your take and I wanted to know like which one you might be more interested in seeing some more info on so I'll go upstairs and show you that. This is the next day by the way. <laughs> so we've got this Haunted Mansion collection here. We have several matte lips, this pH adjusting glossy kind of clear lip, some super shock shadows, glow in the dark body glitter, and then this is the palette. I played with this a little bit the other day, um, not on camera but just kind of testing it out. A lot of cool shades, some highly shimmery shades, some neutrals. So let me know your take or your interest level on that. And then we have this 1111 Angel Number inspired collection. There are several blushes, kind of neutral earthy blushes. This like just came out. I think there may be lipsticks too, but I, this is just the stuff I was sent in the PR package. Several eyeshadow sticks. And then this is the palette. We have matte neutrals, a lot of deep shades, some super sparkly shimmers. That seems to be a trend in a lot of palettes. We're seeing a ton of sparkle in those shimmery shades. But if you'd like to see more on this, let me know. I am wearing those eyeshadows today. The sparkle just it got a little out of control on me, but I still think it looks good. I really enjoyed working with the mattes. I think ColourPop's mattes are very good. I'm wearing all three blushes lightly layered. Um, my lip gloss that I put over another color is uh, brass from the Lifter Gloss line. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Uh, it's kind of random, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing more just everyday stuff like this, or if you have any other requests, I am all ears. Thank you all so much, and I'll I'll see you again very soon. I love you. Bye.